on what you gripping on if you ain't smoking grandma cookies thrice then what you tripping on if you not really about to throw it back then why you stripping in if you ain't pull up in this white hell can we are motherfucking back um oh you might want to kill the fan yeah because that's about to get smoked out in this bitch mm -hmm. be a hot sock session and um uh Bo Wire, don't be mad at me but i'm drinking this course like so, yeah. I don't think I'll get in trouble with them. Oh, fuck it. Um, smoking on birthday cake. What do you cake with? God damn it, there's so many cakes now. <laughs> wedding cake, wedding cake. Um, and we're back with a Houston artist, also known as my best friend, English Fox. Um, she released an EP titled Lonely Avenue. Yes, you're going to be in your feelings. Yes, you may cry. No, we do not give a fuck. Shit smells good. Because we're, the, we're here to get you high. We're here to give you good music. And, um, yeah, so track one is You Got Me. Every episode, every episode, it almost falls. Um, so I've been, well, of course she's my best friend, so I've been watching her grow. Um, she's been teaching herself how to produce. As you can tell, she sings. I believe she just produced two of the four songs on the EP. of what you hear just from like a car ride or a snap or something like that everything from indie alternative rock like whatever you you won't know <laughs> until it's on all right track two is snl 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 sad and lonely oh damn <laughs> yeah <laughs> She's definitely a sad girl, but you know, it comes with the territory. Yeah. Got some Doritos. Oh shit. We got taco salad. This is amazing. Fruit, water, beer. I got just the bowl because, like, you know, you know. It's like. We don't need that much. Granny got a whole plate. And I'm like, I'm not. Yes. I made guacamole here, right? You so Dominican. You know, we got, I'm just saying, like, this is just like, stuff that we ate. You know, I always ate this because my mom, you know. Her. Anyway, I'm not even gonna go here. Anyways, we're gonna be positive. <laughs> this whole time she making food, didn't even tell me who the man was. But you know what? We, we can't. Because when I look back at it, we never really ate normal African American food. Not at my mom's. <laughs> she was missing the DR too much. Yeah. <laughs> no. Sorry, I'm leaving you here again. Right. See you later. <laughs> It's time to go to grandma. 
<laughs> no, but you okay, would you like to do the first and you go ahead. You sure? Lonely Avenue. Damn. Sad and lonely Lonely Avenue. I appreciate the darkness. Yeah, this is like from the 30s and 40s. S you know secret investigator type stuff. Now, SNL and Lonely Avenue, um, I believe, are the two she produced. Okay. That'd be... Yeah. Yeah, she started off playing around with, like, loops and mm -hmm. shit like that, so... I'm pretty sure this is just, like, a bunch of loops mixed in. And they've produced their own music. Big ups to that. Big ups to that. This is some good shit. Mm -hmm. I'm like hot as fuck already. I can't even like cap over it because I'm hot as fuck already. It's probably the beer too though. Yeah, and we're hot boxing already. Yeah. Because it is human. Yeah. Pretty human. And whether or not you get sad to this or not, I'm pretty sure you can agree. I can. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, she makes dark lullabies. And it's awesome. This is the final track, and it's due. One thing I can say is that the whole EP, the whole project kind of has the same vibe throughout the whole mm -hmm. thing. Yeah. Um, just knowing her and knowing like the shit that she usually deals with. This is like a, a walk through her mind, pretty much. There's just something beautiful about pain. And, and, it really is. And then to see people go through pain and overcome it and are able to make music and do something productive with it. And not just that, but like recognizing the empathy that you feel when hearing it. Yeah. Because it's relatable. Like, we've it, all it, been here some... Oh, I'm it, better now. It also oh. helps you to, like, reflect on your own growth. She's <laughs> fucking mess. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas ain't shit. I'm done. Oh. Geo's new name, Sad Boy Poppy. <laughs> should be your Twitter name. <laughs> I'm never getting in another one again. <laughs> Y'all ain't getting me a second time, bitch. Y'all ain't getting me. <clears throat> this is good. And it's good to smoke too. Like... And that's an F up. Serving our communities. Oh. <laughs> Serving our community. That's what we're not doing. <laughs> uh, oh, dang. <laughs> oh, I didn't need that. Well, you know what I meant. God damn it. <laughs> Give me the ashtray. Oh, God. Sick of you and your shit. <laughs> um, yeah, so what you, what you gonna rate that? Because I'm not gonna go first. That'd be pretty biased to me. Um... <laughs> This is my first time. And what was the artist's name again? English Fox. English Fox. This is my first time listening to English Fox. I'd give it a 9 out of 10. I just want, you know, I, I need to hear more, you know, obviously. So that's what I'll do. I'll research English Fox and listen to more of their music. It's pretty good. Um, I'm not going to be too biased. I'm not going to be too biased. <laughs> Um, on 
first thought, definitely a 10. But being on the same wavelength as somebody and, like, you going through the same emotions and, like, having those same experiences is, like, damn, I resonate with that yeah. a lot. It, and it's just, like, I want to say 10, like, right off the bat. But I'm going to say 9.5 because I wouldn't be a friend if I didn't, like, criticize her a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, <clears throat> I know... You guys get some first. First few episodes, it was fucking noodles, and now it's Doritos. <laughs> um, being a, a a good friend, you know, pat on my back real quick. Uh, I'm gonna say that I want I want her to definitely push the envelope on more lengthy songs, um, <laughs> more lyricism, mm -hmm. more just more. Like, imagine if those were all three, four minute songs. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like I said, I give it a nine because you can see the potential. I, I just, this is my first time hearing English Fox, and you can already see that they're yeah. there. They just, you know, so you just keep listening and you keep growing, and then shit. Now you're at festivals. If you're and not already doing it, like that, that's you know? definitely something in the back of my mind that I hope for. Yeah, um, be at the festivals if you're not already doing it. Not just her being my friend, but being an artist that I'm actually a fan of, like genuinely a fan of, simply because I resonate with the the message, the the vibe, just mm -hmm. like everything that comes from the instrumentals to the lyrics, like the <coughs> voice. It is. Once she gets to that level, it's going to be unmatched. Yeah. Um, literally watching her over the span of three months, her production skills, like, just took off. Just took off. No matter whether it was loops or, like, her actually, like, you know, punching in every sound, mm -hmm. it's like, there's so much growth that I've seen. And it takes me back to, like, times when... Mac or Big Sean oh, dropped their first album, and I then you know, Mac, if if rest in peace, Mac, if and he then, was still here, they would do something together. And then it's like from first album to fifth album, you saw all that growth. Like that's what it feels like, but in a lot less time mm. with me, like watching it personally. Um, but definitely nine out of five, simply because I want her to be more of a lyricist. I want her to put in more effort on writing. Um. A lot is said in two minutes coming from her. Yeah, like but you... I want I, I want her to dig deep. So, um, blaze up that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, that little bell. Bing. Uh huh. I had to do the sound. And um, yeah, we'll keep smoking and catch y'all later.